It's the wildest game in the wilderness. Yeah. Hey everybody, what is up? My name is Mackenzie. And I'm Jonathan. We are husband and wife and we'd like to welcome you to Paradise. And today we have a triple feature of three new Disney board games. That is correct. Funko Games is turning out a whole lot of new Disney games this year. And we are yeah, going to tell- Yeah, more than three. Yeah, more than three. So we are going to tell you our favorites that are coming out. Now, you might be like, Funko, isn't that the company that makes like those pop figures? Yes, that you are correct. But they also make some killer board games, especially when they recently teamed up with the famous Prospero Hall, who are the originals designers of Disney Villainous. And they have been turning out some awesome thematic games. Yeah, we got games like Goonies yeah. and The Rocketeer, which was an awesome Disney one, mm -hmm. and Fast and the Furious. And right now on Kickstarter, they have a new Jurassic World, Jurassic Park legacy game. It's huge. Yes. So they're doing a bunch of stuff in this world. It's yes. awesome. Yeah, so Prospero Hall is known for great thematic ties, and I think Funko's gonna do a, like a great job with them as well as they have yeah. been. All right, now the three games we're gonna show you are the top tier themed board games that we think are gonna be great, but they are all for different age ranges. So we're gonna start back at the game that's geared towards your kids and we're gonna go towards the last one, which we are personally very excited about. Yes, so let's dive into that 2022 lineup. So the first one we have up is Disney's The Headless Horseman game. Now, I think this is really interesting because a lot of younger kids are not gonna know this. So I really think this <laughs> is gearing it yeah. toward the adults that know this so they can really Really enjoy the theming of this game but what is the theming for what is yeah it? so it's midnight in sleepy hollow and ichabod crane is trying to get home all the spooky haunts are coming out and it's a cooperative game it looks like linear sort of you're trying to get them to the end of the path before the headless horseman heads them off so uh it seems like a fun interesting game it's targeted at age six and up the art is beautiful the funny interesting thing it's got these really really nice miniatures so really just high quality production Seems really cool. The miniature for the Headless Horseman, the pumpkin is orange and the rest of it is not. So you got these dual colored minis. Looks yeah, pretty cool. And we know as like designers that that is expensive to do those dual layers. So I think that <laughs> is like really cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think it's going to be cool. Great okay, movies. You so should watch that them. So that is the Headless Horseman. If you were a fan of that as a kid and you want to introduce your kids to it, I think this could be a great choice. But let's hop over to the next one, which I am super pumped about. And that is Disney, a goofy movie. Yes, we are going back to the 90s and this is truly one of my <laughs> favorites. I even I love the second one, the extremely goofy movie, but I am loving that Powerline is making a comeback because I think this is a total movie that is so awesome that people just don't know. Um, but yeah, so the description for that is. Yeah, basically Powerline is headed on their tour across America and they're gonna have their big performance in LA and so Goofy and Max and the gang are making their way across the states and trying to like get a bunch of pictures and mm -hmm. goodies and all these things before they end up at the concert. Now they it sounds like they have to beat Powerline to the concert. There is a die involved that's basically determining how far Powerline is moving and then also Goofy might go on a detour and they do crazy stuff. So yeah. it seems really cute. It doesn't really it, like, what, yeah. for the theming it says that they're specific in saying Powerline is back on tour again. So I do not think this is just a replica of the movie. I think it's gonna kind of be a unique storyline to like yeah, going yeah. on it. That's what mm -hmm. it seems like it's gonna be. But the minis are awesome on this one. Again with the Headless Horseman, I find it, mm, I find it really interesting that they chose to do a younger theme for this Disney Goofy movie. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I. I think we are discussing that because I'm like, it's d kids don't know the Disney Goofy movie, but it's like all of the kids that watched this in the 90s, they're now parents and like yeah. you guys. So they want to play this with their kids and introduce them to the movie that they love. So I think that's a really interesting way to do it. Yeah, yeah. definitely. That's what's going on. And mm -hmm. it's targeted at seven and up. So this is definitely one to play with your kids and, and have fun. Yeah. And so. just, so you know, the timing of like the age ranks of games, it's all subjective because villain this is ranked age 10 plus and some people like people will find that very difficult yeah so you just never know maybe this would be the right suit for you and your friends but it is ranked seven up i would recommend it more toward kids so that's a goofy movie but this next one we are super excited about and i definitely want to see it on my shelf and so will you if you are a fan of villainous and that is disney's a big thunder mountain game big thunder mountain railroad oh, game yeah. <laughs> the wildest game in the wilderness. Yes. <laughs> and this game definitely has more of that sophisticated look to it that I think you and your friends are going to enjoy. It's got a bit of a Fireball Island vibe yeah, to it. So yeah, yeah, yeah. we have a 3D 
board of the uh, the top of the mountain and there are these sort of locations where you insert these marbles and they roll down off onto the track. Doesn't seem to be a complete luck game, so it's actually listed as an intro to deck building. So there's a deck building component to it where you're getting these cards. It looks like you have a mine cart, it goes around the track and you pick up the marbles and uh, some of it's gold, some of it's water, yeah. whatever. Uh, and it seems very interesting. I'm very excited to see where this yes, one goes. Yes, I love the dexterity yeah. part of it with the marbles and the deck building. I think it's gonna be really fun. And the art in this game looks really nice. It's that high quality Prospero Hall art that I love. And yeah, I think yeah. this game is going to be really interesting because the theming for Thunder Mountain Railroad is pretty loose in the ride. So I'm actually hoping to get some more details about yes. what like the theming is or what they set the theming and the storyline for Big Thunder. And yes. because I've been saying for years, like I feel like that's the one that eventually they're going to make a movie on it because they made Jungle Cruise. I feel like Big Thunder is coming um, when they're going to make a movie on it. So maybe this is the first step to doing that. Totally I don't could know. Be. Yeah. 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 So it seems like there's all sorts of different, uh, from the description, there's all sorts of different events that can happen and these dynamite and gold rush and all this stuff. And you're kind of just trying to make the most of what you can uh, and, and come out wealthy rich. So yeah. <laughs> seems seems really, really fun. I'm excited to see where this one's going. We have gotten a Disney ride game before, Jungle Cruise. I think this is the chance to redeem that sort of of idea of, of uh, making a ride into a game because I think the theme was really strong with that but the game was where it was lacking. I think this is going to be really really exciting. I'm very excited to see and play Big Thunder and that is coming out in summer 2022 so you can make sure that we are going to be sharing, sharing that with all of you. All right, everyone, and that is the three games that we think you should be knowing about that are coming out in 2022. Let us know down below which ones you are most interested in and what you think about these themings. I really would be interested to talk to you about in the comments section. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can know whenever we put out a new video. And we'll see you next time. Happy, Happy playing. playing.